a bigger cell? Yep. Actually, I'm going to put in a, a pool, one of those above ground uh, indoor kind of setups. That's cool. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're going to make an incision now. Just come right across the area there where we put the lidocaine with epinephrine. And we're just looking to get through the skin at this point. You a Texans fan, my friend? Oh, secondary. Secondary? Who's your primary? Grew up closer to Dallas. Ah, okay. We like Cowboys fans too, don't we, Coconut? Coconut doesn't, though. She's, uh, she's a little bit different. She's not a Texan sports fan. More of a Rangers. Are you? Baseball? Yeah. You gotta be careful, because sometimes people say Rangers, they mean hockey. Yeah. So you're gonna feel me doing some tugging here. Yep. Yeah. And what we're doing is we're working just to dissect this out. We're gonna try to get the whole cyst to come out. Might wanna back up just a wee bit, just for orientation purposes there. Yeah, 10 year old cyst, we're always uh, taking our, uh, <laughs> taking a risk with these because you get into them and it turns out they're so scarred in that they take a long time to, to move them out, to dissect them. So you gonna watch the games this weekend? Oh, I'm sure. Did the Cowboys already play? Uh, Sunday night, I think. They play Sunday night, okay. I know they had, uh, they ended up winning the game with the Texans. I guess it's not really a game, the, the uh, preseason game, right? I don't really count those as a real football game. Hey, we got Gonzo here. Are you feeling something? No, just, just moving around. Just moving around. You folks at home who can see this right now, that's basically cyst right there. That's the posterior part of the cyst, or the back part. So we're trying to dissect around it. We want it to come out all in one piece. Now this is gonna be about the size of a peach pit by the time we're done. I don't know, I just took a wild guess. It's just a rumor around the clinic that you like to drink. Well, now we're getting some goop out here. So we're we're actually draining a little bit. You get that? Yeah. 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 Guess what, Raymond? Uh, looks like you're still infected here because uh, we just got into the cyst and we just got a whole bunch of. Oh man, that stuff's strong too. Here comes some more. Oh. Ooh. That's how you look yesterday. That's how I looked. I was so green like that yesterday. Oh, that's terrible. You all right down there, pal? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh man. That almost got us. Oh. It might have got me. I, I don't know. Check. Is it anywhere? That would be so cool. Oh, my God. I mean... I mean, we it'd got, be gross. We've got <laughs> pus cool. everywhere over here. Okay, this is not so cool now. <laughs> not when they start squirting out. Oh, good grief. That is awful. You're making him feel bad. <laughs> well, <laughs> he should feel bad bringing all this pus in here today. Here, I'm I've been carrying it for a couple of weeks now. You've been hauling that around. <laughs> So you're just gonna stay home and drink this weekend? If my mother takes the child, then yeah. yes. If you feel anything, you let me know, okay? You're, you're gonna feel pulling, but if you feel sharp pain, like a, you know, a stick or a sting, that kind of thing. Yep, yeah, we'll do. Yeah, we're already behind it over here. pleased with that right there we're definitely getting the core out here so to speak or the the sack looking for in here is just any residual sack that might have been off to the side like that right there that's some um, I'm gonna get that and we're gonna throw a few stitches in here. You finished all your antibiotics, right? Um, I'm on the th 
three out of the 15. So I still okay. got the. You still have quite a few then. Still quite a few to go. Yeah. Okay. Coconut, I'm going to need you to get me a little. Um... One of you wrote in and asked this Hey Adam, I see that Meta 7 gets great reviews. Everybody likes it. Well, almost everybody. There's usually one or two people who say it did nothing for them. Why is that? Well, it's a good question, okay? Why do some people say that Meta 7, seen right here, is not doing it for them, right? Well, here's the thing. It's a subtle difference. So if you want more energy during the day, you take your Meta 7 in the morning. The first time you take it, you may not even notice, right? Like, yeah, okay, well, I took a supplement, I took a vitamin, no big deal. It doesn't give you a surge of energy 15 minutes later. It's a prolonged release, and you're going to be getting more done in your day. It also builds in your system. So maybe you don't notice it the first day, but two or three days in, you're getting more done. A week in, you're like, wow, I'm very productive. Two weeks in, you're ignoring, you don't need those naps, you're maybe losing more weight, you're getting more done in your day. So some people, they just take a at a seven, they're like, I didn't notice anything, and they write it off can't help it. If you're looking for long-term effects, it makes a difference. Okay, so it's like it's like somebody saying, well, I ate healthy for a day. Why didn't I lose weight? Well, I ate healthy for a day. That's why you didn't lose weight. It's something you're going to stick to. Look at the reviews on Meta790 Day. People have tried it. It's got like a 4.75 rating on Amazon. People have tried it. They like it. They stick with it for a long period of time. It really makes a difference. So stick with it. Meta7 is amazing. Alright, thanks for watching. Go ahead and pick some up. There's a link below.